seconds for the start. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start. Off. Carve seven. Carve eight. Carve nine. Carve ten. Carve one. Carve two. Carve three. Carve four. Carve five. Six. Right, this is going to be a very interesting round for those of you who are watching live on Facebook and on YouTube. We got fast drivers from Germany, Costa Rica. And also in Italy, and of course, not to forget, we got fast drivers from Australia as well. Local racing ace now coming across the transponder coil, Jeff Hammond, with a hammer, throwing it down with an 18535 and this is going to be an interesting one and french french driver bernard with the lovely painted body shell coming to the top of the back straight coming into the keyhole and he goes away he goes bernard out in front bernard's fastest lap 18 350 308 oh no bernard is 18 796 i want to take a look Ooh. Oh, looking at local ace again, Jeff Hammond now. He's coming up on some back cars. He's been doing fine all week so far in qualifying. And he's gone past the keyhole. Jeff Hammond nailing an 18.353. Well, there was a little bit of debacle yesterday when he was given the TQ due to an infraction, which was then reviewed and re rescinded. And we're gonna go and track Five down the current fastest car on track. All right. And now we're on Andrea Cardazzani, and this is the amazing part. Andrea Cardazzani is the only driver below 18 seconds. He's on a 17.919. Now, this is going to pose a big question for all you race fans watching. Does he have enough fuel at the pace that he's going to finish seven minutes? Now we're about three minutes down we still got four minutes to go and in this gt world championships four minutes is one heck of a long time all right he's still on he's blazing he's blazing he's blazing out ahead and the two yep we're looking now the two drivers neck and neck from the same country we got Daniel Senesi and Andrea Catazzani neck and neck. We're looking now at Andrea. Hey, no, Nathaniel Senesi. He's with the orange and the black wing out across the transponder coil, going down into the sweeper. He's looking good. He's at an 18.308 right now on lap number 12. Gentlemen, you got three minutes and 50 seconds down and approximately three minutes and 10 seconds to go. 
Fast cars coming in. This is the current running order. You got Andrea Catazzani, followed by Nathaniel Senesi, Tony Gruber, Bernard Alon. Then it's Alex D'Angelo, Gabriel Pelosi, Jon Neumann, Michael Stone, Jeff Hammond came in with a problem. The Paolo Maganti stopped on lap number three. Four and a half minutes down, two and a half minutes to go. Fastest single lap, still 17.919 on lap number eight by car number three, Andrea Catazzani. That's Andrea Catazzani. And Tony Gruber's on the hunt. Tony is looking. Positioning up to five. Andrea Catazzani has Tony Gruber hanging on to the rear. You can see that. He's got the tractor beam on. He's reeling him in. Tony Gruber wants to go faster. And what better way to do that than to follow the fastest car around close? Look at that. You could almost see a small thin wire holding the two cars together. Tony Gruber hassling the back of Andrea Catazzani. Catazzani can't get away. Gruber can't get close enough to overtake. He's not close enough for Catazzani to let him through. Catazzani playing it nice and cool now. He's got to be on the top of his mind. He's got a minute and 10 seconds to go. Do I have enough fuel for this? Look at that, Gruber's on the back. Gruber's looking at his hitch pin holders right now. Tony Gruber is seeing what kind of suspension he's using already. He can see the spring rates from where he is. 52 seconds to go. And look at that. Katazani's gotta let him through this. Remember, it's a race against time you gotta let him through Katazani you gotta let Tony through he is the faster car thank you and you can see now Tony Gruber starting to pull it's Tony Gruber starting to pull we're down to final 20 seconds you can see Tony Gruber starting to pull the gap oh and Tony Gruber hits the curb up on the roof four wheels in the air but he lands back on his wheels oh and Andrea Catazzani again he's out of fuel Andrea Catazzani out of fuel on the last lap he's walking he's walking back we're out of time we're out of time Time has expired. Race to the finish line. All cars through. That's it. Heat is over. Heat is over. All cars in. No more laps. No more laps. That battle with Tony Gruber must have taken its toll because Andrea Cadazzani on just before ran out of fuel on the last lap at the top of the keyhole. No, no, it's an ace, eh? congratulations. Uh, uh, an exciting finish, but another TQ yeah. run. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. I just tried to drive as safe as possible. Uh, no mistakes. The car was amazing. I was a little bit lean at the beginning, but then in the end, I decided to not push too much just to be safe to make minutes, and it was a safe decision. So, super happy about that. Well, they, uh, tell us about the tyres you were running for that. I uh, just mounted new tyres in the back, uh, old tyres in the front. The car was amazing. I think with four new tyres, it would be too much grip in the front. So maybe a good solution. What's the plan for the, the next round of qualifying? Maybe TQ again, but I don't know. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> we will see. Excellent. Great job and uh, yeah, well done. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and race fans from across the globe, welcome to the live stream of this event. 
here on Facebook and YouTube. We got the 2023 GT Worlds live down under in Sydney and on way track right now. We got group number eight, qualifier round number five, all to play for. As the cars come around the track, the fastest laps, we have yet to see a change, the Daniel Senezi. Oh, as the team has pre predicted here in RC Race Media, Tony Gruber with the fastest lap. 18.073, and just as we call him out, he makes a Madrid. Andrea Cadazzani. Okay, looks like the Italians are laying down the law with both Alex D'Angelo and Andrea Catazzani. Oh, curse of the commentator, Rack strikes again. Okay, we got a minute and 15. Okay. Oh. Car. Car in the entry of the long straight. Guys, watch it. Take it easy. It's qualifying. Don't take each other out. We're coming up on two minutes. Coming up on two minutes. We got five minutes to go. Out in front, Alex D'Angelo. Bernard is throwing his name in the head. Jeff Hammond, local hero, out in front now. Five minutes to drive. Top of the back straight, coming down. Here he is, Jeff Hammond, local ace, as he comes through the keyhole. Screaming down the front straight. Jeff Hammond has been driving wonderfully all week during the time practice as well as the qualifiers yesterday and today. Jeff Hammond, race specialist from Australia, rocking it down under. Now we're seeing time, lap times dropping. Alex D'Angelo just knocking a 17.874. Alex D'Angelo holding out in front. We followed by Jeff, Bernard, Nathaniel. Jorn Neumann is still there. Jorn is uh, a little bit off the pace though. Three minutes down, four minutes to go. Okay, we're now looking at Alex D'Angelo moving down. Here he is coming into the keyhole. Wisely moving aside his race compatriot, Alex D'Angelo on an 18-0-3-1 on that particular run. As he comes again, three and a half minutes gone and three and a half minutes to go. Alex D'Angelo holding out in front. As they come careening round the keyhole, going through the front straight again. Alex D'Angelo is your car in front. His median time is 18 -1 Fastest among all the drivers on track right now. Couple of drivers in the 17. Tony Gruber is one. Tony has the fastest single lap with a 17.839. He did an 18.3 just now. He's trying to claw his way back into contention. He's down in fifth. All right, the current running order, we got Jeff Hammond, followed by Bernard Alain. Then it's Alex D'Angelo, Nathaniel Senesi, Tony Gruber, Jorn Neumann, Paolo Moganti, Gabriel Pelosi, and Andrea Carazzani is out with the problem. Michael Stone holding in six. He's moving between six and seven.
Now we swing back to take a look at where Alex D'Angelo is as he comes through the keyhole. Nice and sharp, precise movements. Italian maestro Alex D'Angelo taking his car through the S's now. Coming to the pop. He's going to pop into the back straight, going all the way down. Coming round to the keyhole, taking a ride on the carousel, going through the straight line. Oh, we have a car screaming up. Bernard is up, up, and away, and over. Bernard with a double, triple flip. We have another minute and a half to go. Meanwhile, all attention still on Alex D'Angelo. Alex is closing in on Jeff Hammond. You can see it. Alex can see the black paint on Jeff's body shell. Any closer, he'll be able to see the spring rate. He's reeling Hammond in real quick. But here's the question. Will he have enough fuel to finish the run? We still have a minute on the clock. Jeff could be conserving fuel while Alex D'Angelo is trying to take a look up his peepers. Look at that. He can probably see Jeff's knickers in that thing. And Jeff! With a two shakes and a rattle, he's coming in. He's... Uh, Jeff Hammond's in already. In the meanwhile, Alex D'Angelo has gotten away. We got Tony Groover back up in second. Tony Gruber now cross the line. Tony Gruber is in hot pursuit on lap number 17. Tony Gruber does a 17.778. There he is diving down into the keyhole. Riding the roundabout on the carousel. Going into the front straight. Driving's got the last five seconds to go. It's anybody's run right now. Will Alex D'Angelo take this? Or will Gruber take it? Gruber's through the S's, going down the top of the S. Oh, and Alex D'Angelo takes a lap 24, 7, 15. Finished two, finished four. Whoa. Tony Gruber on a 24, 7, 17. And we can hear engines shut off just as it comes across the transponder coil. Uh, Alex D'Angelo, congratulations taking out uh, that round of qualifying. You, uh, lots of emotion, just to yeah, tell yeah. how you're feeling. Yeah, it was close uh, because um, we, from yesterday, are managing tires to have better tires for the final rounds. So um, I was thinking maybe I did wrong, maybe I did right. Now I put a full new set. The car is amazing, it's flying. The, with the high temperature, uh, our car works uh, really good. I think I did also the best uh, performance in the, in the seven minute. So for the pole position, it's open. I I fight uh, in the next round with uh, another set of new tire. So let's see. It's really difficult to drive. Uh, I'm shaking, uh, but now the car is amazing. Happy with the, the temperature we talked yesterday and you're looking forward to the, the hotter conditions. Yeah, I told that... you, yes, yes, because when the grip goes high, the, 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 the chassis go on, like it switch and it's crazy speed uh, in, the, in the cornering, uh, I, co I speed corner, the traction, it's the braking, everything works a lot better with the high temperature. Now just tell everybody what uh, car and equipment you're racing. What? What's brand, car, brand? Ah, I use uh, oh, Genius uh, GTC 8.23, uh, is the, the last one with the uh, all uh, Ergal uh, arms. Right, and uh, the G Marine Giant. Is there anyone else you'd like to thank? Anyone else you'd like to thank? Yes, all the friends who follow me, and uh, thank you, everybody. Well, thank you very much for the chat. Great job, and uh, yeah, good luck thank in you. round six. Thank you. Bye. This is going to be one heck of a run. Fast guys out on track. Everybody's a fast guy. Local aces, we got Jeff Hammond and Michael Stone. Aces from 
Italy, the Italian Stallions. We've got Alex D'Angelo, Nathaniel Ceresi, Gabriel Pelosi, and Andrea Cartazani. Then the German snipers, Jan Neumann and Tony Gruber. Costa Rica, represented by Paolo Morganti. This is going to be interesting. And France has joined in the fray with Bernard Alon. This is your group number eight. They've got three minutes of warm up left. And then they're going to duke it out on track. But All right, two minutes to go, drivers. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to start. Start. Order. Carl 10, Carl 9, Carl 8, Carl 7, Carl 6, Carl 5, Carl 4, Carl 3, Carl 2, Carl 1. Track is closed, track is closed, all cars in, no more laps, track is closed, track is closed, track is closed, Jeff Hammond, Jeff Hammond, the Australian ace, flamed out, right mechanics, just a quick warning, no tunings, and any changes you need to do to the car in the pit lane, you do it on the seat, not in the pit lane. We got 20 seconds before we start this. And I'm gonna hand it over to Anthony. Pay attention to the green flag. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start of how ten. Carl 9, Carl 8, Carl 7, Carl 6, Carl Oh, nine, Neumann has a Carl flame four, out at the end of the sweeper. Carl 3, Carl 2, Carl 1. Pare up, pare up. Right, ladies and gentlemen, plenty of action just before the race starts. 
We're checking, but we've, we had a flame out right at the start, even before the car crossed the transponder call for Jorn Neumann from Germany. We're about 48 seconds in. Tony Gruber, the man to watch. He's on a move. He's on the move. Tony Gruber has a 79.58. Tony Gruber now on to the back straight, coming into the top of the keyhole. Here he is in the orange color car with the white wing. Cross the transponder coil, Tony Gruber. Tony Gruber is your man on the move right now. The German sniper at work. He's looking for the guy in front. One shot, one kill. And indeed, he's made his way through. The mere presence striking fear in the competition's hearts. There he is, Tony Gruber now into the S's. Coming on the final second of the left corner, going to the back straight. Tony Gruber. Top of the keyhole, coming round now. We're going to see what his time is. Tony Gruber with a 79.43. Current running order, we got Tony Gruber, Alex D'Angelo, Nathaniel Senesi. Bernard, Andrea Catazzani, Paolo Boganti, Gabriel Pulosi, Lord Neumann. Five minutes to drive. Jeff Hammond in all sorts of trouble. His car has flamed out twice. Once before we even finished the warm up lap. We're two minutes and 15 seconds down, four minutes, 45 seconds to go. Oh, we got a bit of cloud cover. That should lower the track temperature and raise grip right now. I think earlier on, we could be already. And this is where it gets interesting. The orange with the white or the orange with the transparent or the orange with the black wing. Who is who? But Tony Gruber is the one with the white. Here he is on the S's now. All three cars, we're looking at Bernard. Bernard's got Gruber behind him. Gruber's looking, Gruber has gone through now. Tony Gruber's way through. Now Tony Gruber going through the S's, coming up on the back. If I am not wrong, the car in front of him with the black wing is Nathaniel Senesi. So Tony Gruber. He's trying to close in on the Daniel Senesi. Senesi is actually in fifth. Fastest single lap. Again, Andrea Catazzani with a 17.757. Here is the burner as we look at Tony Gruber trying to make. Tony Gruber is slowing down. His car is slowing down. Is there some problem? looks like it his car looks like it's slowing down he's slowing all the way down okay tony gruber is out of it we go back the lead car is bernard Okay, we're looking at Alex D'Angelo around the keyhole going on to the front straight. Alex D'Angelo now in the lead. Yep, based, based on the estimation that we have, if he wins this, he's provisional TQ. And he comes round now, Alex D'Angelo. Straight on the back straight, going into the long left sweeper. Coming under the S's right now. Hooking on the left, then hooking on the right. He's darting down the back straight. He's looking really cool right now, this cool customer. Alex D'Angelo with wine and pasta. Sweeping it away. Here he is now. He's coming in, he's coming in. Looking at the pink color car, who's that? 
Oh, that's Gabriel. Gabriel Pelosi. He's on the top now, coming down the back straight. Alex D'Angelo. We got about a minute and 10 to go. Alex D'Angelo leads. This is the car's running order right now. Alex D'Angelo, followed by Bernard Alon, followed by Nathaniel Senesi, Michael Stone, Andrea Catazzani, Gabriel oh Pelosi, God. Paolo Maganti, Jon Neumann, Tony Gruber. Tony has an issue, came in on lap 14. Jeff Hammond flamed out a couple times, saved the car, saved the tires. He's finished on lap six. In the meanwhile, Alex D'Angelo just passed the transponder coil again. I do believe we're now looking at him because we're 40 seconds from the finish. He is the man to watch because if he takes the TQ, he will be provisional TQ. Uh, we're giving a driver warning. We got, we're finishing the last laps now. We're looking at it. Alex D'Angelo finishes with a 24 lap 719. All cars finish, all cars finish. Alex D'Angelo finishes in front, 24 laps, 719. In second place, Monsieur Bernard Elan with a 23 laps, 702. Nathaniel Senesi, 23, 702. Andrea Catazzani finishes with a 23, 708. Michael Stone, 23, 714. Gabriel Pelosi, 23, 714. Paolo Maganti, 22, 701. Time Jan Neumann, 21, Great. 706. Professional TQ, Alex D'Angelo. Alex D'Angelo, congratulations. Top qualifier here at the 2023 GT World Championships. Just put that in the words for me. Thank you very much for the con congratulations. And uh, okay, uh, at least at the last round, uh, maybe too much grip, and uh, the car was a bit slower than the previous round. But I, I've seen that Tony had a problem. I don't know which problem, but uh, I told you I need uh, a bit of luck, and I can get it. Also with. Uh, with the help of my teammate Arnaldi that uh, don't push it too, too hard when he was in, uh, in second position. And I was a little to the opposite, the opposite of Lin uh, by carburetion. I, I, I was a bit too rich on the engine tuning, so I, I was scared to not close the, the seven minute. And in fact, I lost power in the back straight and I closed the like a bit of gas and I closed and I'm super happy. Uh, just explain what it means to, to have that automatic spot in the main final and not have to, to come through a semi. Ah, yeah, you, you can work slow, you can watch every part, you can relax a bit and watch the other uh, <laughs> enjoying uh, the uh, semi-final, our final. It's my first time to uh, an IFMA world and with the pole position, is, I think it's good. Just I'm super happy. Thanks to Zeno, Paola, Arnaldi, my teammate, uh, my dad from, uh, from home that is helping me a lot, and to all my friends that are following uh, the, the race on YouTube. Just uh, tell everyone again what car and equipment you're using. Uh, the Genius, Genius GT C8.23 uh, with the GMR engine. And uh, thanks to them also for the, the support and the, the, the product they do uh, that are super cool. Awesome job. Congratulations and, uh, and go celebrate. Thank you. Bye.